Hi! Today I'm going to show you the very basics of how to download and set up FASM. First we need to visit the official website, this is the address, and proceed to the download section. We are on Windows now, so we are going to get package for Windows. This is not an installation, we just extract the files somewhere. Let's choose a path. And now we can run it. This is the command line version. We can uh, use it from console and this is Windows graphical version. The antivirus software may find this downloaded file suspicious, so we need to tell it that we want to run it anyway. Now we can go to its directory and find some examples. 64 bit ones, two. And after we loaded an example, we can just compile it or compile and run. So we got at least the example program to assemble and execute. One important thing to note is that the first time we ran FASMW, it created this ini file. And here we see that it has set up path to include files. So if we now move this uh, directory with flat assembler to another place on hard drive or somewhere else uh, it might not be able to assemble its examples simply because uh, the path is going to change them so if uh, after trying it for the first time you need to move it to some other place uh, you need to change this path in this ini file or uh, another option is to simply delete the file and next time fastmw is started it is going to create a fresh one and again uh, fill it with a proper path So this is for Windows, and since Windows has a Linux subsystem now, we can also show how to do similar thing for Linux. We need to get this package. and extract it. For some reason TAR on Windows did not apply uh, permissions properly. Normally under Lin Linux mm, the executables here should have permissions after extracting. Here we need to add them manually. Also classical 32-bit FASM may not run on some systems, like on Windows subsystem for Linux. But there is another executable that is 
may run in 64-bit environments. This is still the same 32-bit fuzz, but it has been adapted to run on Linux systems that do not allow 32-bit executables. And again we can find some examples to assemble. Sixty four bit one. Mm. Oh, perhaps it is executable already. No. And we have assembled and executed a very simple example. This should be enough to get at least uh, FASM running and assembling things. Thank you for watching and see you next time.